we've rented from Staten Island Farms. This is our third year of renting out from them. And uh, it's mostly a, a corn farm. They mostly grow corn. They do have a cattle operation here. They do grow a certain amount of wheat. And, uh, but the, it's actually completely controlled. And, and like I say, uh, everything they do involves uh, the birds and making sure that the land is treated properly. And that we, you know, we're very careful about how we you know, use chemicals on this farm and, and because it is a bird sanctuary. So we're always aware of what has to be done. Uh, I mean, this is basically where the tunnels will start going underground, basically where you're standing and bore right straight down the middle of this ranch. And it's not just the boring of the tunnel, it's everything that goes with it. Where does all that dirt go? I mean, basically, when all that dirt comes out of the ground, it goes everywhere. And now you're taking, instead of your good peat topsoil that you're farming in, now you're taking this ground that's 30 or 40 feet out of the ground, you know, deep, which is not really farmable ground. It's not the kind of soil you're looking for for your crop, but it has to be put someplace. The state sort of acts like, well, would it be an imposition? Well. It's only 10,000 acre ranch, but it's only going to impact about 10,000 acres. So that's really the only farm you're going to have, except your ranch will now be useless. So, uh, you know, this is all part of being a farmer. My family's grown potatoes for over 30 years, and we traveled to California just to farm on this type of land. This week, and we actually got to meet some of the uh, head manager of the conservancy and uh, told them, you know, our concerns about being able to be on this ranch. And, how it, it's a win-win situation for us. It's win for them because it gives them a land rotation problem. If you're always corn, 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 that's not good on ground. You know, I could go rotate your crops from one crop to another. Of course, you know, you're looking at the farmers and this is how they make their living. So you gotta understand, you gotta understand their point of view too.